talking about our, our former president. Yes, Ernie, Ernie Harris. Harris. He said that if your house is on fire, if your house is on fire, you gotta wake up. He said if your house is on fire, you wake up and your house is on fire, you ain't gonna leave your house burning and you gonna go on to work. He said you ain't gonna, if your house is on fire, uh, get on your party shoes and go to the party. That's right. He said if your house is on fire, you gonna try to put your house out. Right. Ted Gary said you gonna try to put your house out if your house is on fire. So what he's saying, what he's saying, if I can relate that to the black community, all right. Lord have mercy. What he's saying is that in many of our communities, in many of our neighborhoods, our house is on fire. Yeah. While our house is on fire, you understand, we going out party. That's right. While our house is on fire, we going to work. While our house is on fire, we're not, we're not doing what we're supposed to do to put that fire out. Okay. That's what our brother, that's what our brother, former president, brother Ernie Harris, said to me. And he also said this. He said, we need to wake up. That we sleep. That's true. So wake up. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. We can do all we want to do. We can have our fun. We can enjoy the 4th of July. But remember, in our neighborhood, our house is No doubt about it. The Art McCoy University Radio Show. Listen, we got a hot show today. Whether you're in your car, Lord have mercy. Whether you're in your car, uh, at home. You don't want to miss this show. I should come in the door. This is one of her favorite songs coming up here. Lord have mercy. Hello, Judge E. Merrill Cables. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord, she's moving slow today. What's wrong? At 103, she's moving slow. You will be penalized as she comes in the door. 103 years old. Retired Judge E. Merrill Cables. Name on tennis courts and all over the world and in Cleveland, Ohio. But nevertheless, her and Ted Gary will be fine. Take your time, honey. Take your time. And her and Ted Gary, Judge, you will be fine. You're late. You're late for the show. You will be fine. One hundred and five dollars. One hundred and five dollars. Ted Gary might have to pay it. Lord have mercy. Take your time, honey. What'd you say? Pull that microphone up. She's trying to talk to me, Ted. Yeah. No problem. Huh? How much you get me for paying ahead of time and pay for his time? Oh, so you're trying to be technical. You're trying to say many no, times you were early. I believe it's been work two ways. Where it's man and woman. And it's the same for each one as far as fairness is concerned. Speak right into that microphone, Judge. Yes. The soft I'm mic. I'm doing fine. Yes. I, I'm be much better with that $105. Ted Gary got to pay. Turn it up, honey. I have to go out and find Miss Controversy. We, we sure are, because we need her. We don't need her, but... Yes, but we do need her. Turn that mic up a little bit, honey. I'm getting a soft mic there. So therefore, it's what I say that goes. That's All right, good. okay. All right, beautiful. Yes. So you're the boss. That's what you're telling me? Of uh, well, that particular matter. Yes, all right. All right, you voting in Miss Controversy. No doubt about yes. it. Hey, something right now. Independence Day and all that. Lord have mercy. One of the most important things that I want the people to understand in our community, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Remember that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, listen, our community needs to live up to that preamble mm. because it is real, truly life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We got to stop playing with that. We got to stop missing out on that. You understand? Those are, uh, uh, it's, it's supposed to be guaranteed. You understand? From, from, from God language to, to, uh, to the written language. Lord, have mercy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Somewhere we missing, we we missing that. Judge, put a mic up. Tell you this TV. I know you look pretty. You think it's TV. You just think it look good. No. You know anything about that? The law for every individual. Every individual. Talk right in that microphone, honey. Race, he, 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 greed, he, or sex has nothing to do with it. Big pardon? Race, greed, or sex has nothing to do with the application of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Greatest well, I, words that were ever printed in our Constitution. 
Constitution of the United States of America, the greatest document that has ever been written other than the Bible. Talking to that microphone, honey. I know you you like that TV camera in front of your face because you look pretty. But talking to the microphone, before I come over I there and, and find you, uh, already you find you $105, you'll be to find $150. You're going to break Ted Gary because he's going to have to pay it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so anyway. The numbers are in. The scores are tallied. Cleveland drivers are not the worst in Ohio. In fact, of the major metros in the state, Cleveland beats both Columbus and Cincinnati when it comes to driver ability, a new report shows. Listen, Sam, you're shaking your head, but don't shake your head because I tell you what, Cleveland drivers and East Cleveland drivers particular, listen, they are they are better than NASCAR. They are, they are better than when it comes to maneuver. Listen, I know why that statistic went up the way it did because, listen, if you drive through East Cleveland, Ted, you know, listen, you yes. got to you gotta be NASCAR yes, and, 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 and all those drivers that want to come. Listen, listen, you know what? It's a miracle. I see why we got those statistics because, listen, we run, we going down the street and all of a sudden there's this crater pothole. We got to turn around that pothole and not hit the cars on the other side. Then a little bit further up, the red light is out. It's blanking. Yeah. We got to stop. We got to watch that red light. We got to watch another crater. Hey, I see why we're number one. Mm. And now, you all remember, you all remember clearly, I'm going to show you how politicians lie. Yeah, I said it on the radio. Listen, that was my opinion. I'm going to tell you how politicians lie. You remember politicians told us when we got rid of those speed light, red light cameras, you know what they told us? Oh, they said the city going to fall apart. We ain't going to have no finances. They're going to be crashing everywhere. And they, oh, they was uh, upset. Hey, has any of that happened? Has any of that happened? Haven't seen that yet. All right, all right. You, you ain't saw a whole lot of people get killed because they moving the speed light, red light cameras. Right. Happening. No. Yes, hey, has the, has the revenue of East Cleveland, uh, Cleveland fell down? No. It's still, they still they're surviving, ain't it? Yes, we are. They, and they just put millions and millions downtown in, 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 in reviving public square, right? Right, 54 they, million. All right, they put <laughs> million. How many? 54 million. All right, so uh, it didn't hurt that. So so all you gullible people, like uh, Ted Gurry one time, all you gullible people <laughs> that think, uh, you hey, Ted, yes, yes, you did. Ted, you told me that the city needed the money. That's why you was going with them. talking about East Cleveland. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Kiki probably too. Oh, they need the money, so uh, so we going to vote. Uh, uh, uh. That was the best thing he did for East Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Broke us, yeah. Lord have mercy. So anyway, listen. The black man's army, black on black, a few people from the west side, our suburbanites, oh, yes. we got together. They didn't believe this could happen. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't believe this could happen, that we could take $60 million from the city and give to the drivers when it came to the speed light camera. Oh, no, y'all ain't going to be able to get rid of the speed light camera <laughs> in, in Cleveland. Y'all fighting against Mary Jackson and, and everybody. No, no. You know what I'm saying? But what happened? Talk to me, son. What Speak happened up. was, oh, my goodness, we won in every last proling precinct, every precinct. The law was passed and it was reversed and struck down. The voters struck it down and said, oh, no, you don't. We refused to fall for the tricks of the politicians and it was brought down and the whole law was changed. People power did that. Lord, how mercy. Hey, turn it up, honey. Work with me, honey. Yeah. Lord, how mercy. Because these are my drivers in the background. That, That's that, right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so here's what happened, honey. Let, let, listen. The people saw, listen. Every precinct, this ain't never happened before. No. Every precinct uh -huh. voted uh, to get rid of those cameras. Red light, speed light, you camera And you know what? Who's still scratching their head? Lord Harry, Mayor Frank Jackson and the city. They still don't understand how a few people, they call us vagabonds. How them vagabonds <laughs> take $60 million from uh, uh, the city coffer That's and right. give it to the poor drivers, the people that was, you know, people was losing their, uh, uh, getting liens on their homes, they cars, right. uh, losing their license because of this. Uh -huh. Lord, I'm just, I just, I, hey, I'm through talking about it. We're going to the phone line, 216-578-1490. I'm gonna give a regular panel. Mr. Nish is from Cleveland. Talk to me. Okay, I just wanna comment on, uh, on the 4th of July, though it's important for us to remember the first person who died for the independence of this country was the black man, Chris, that I took, and also a number of other black people fought in the Revolution, Revolutionary War, also up to the Vietnam War and up to the war in the Middle East. 
and we have a stake in this country to deserve to get all the rights that apply to any other group of people here in this country. And about uh, Chris, what I took was the first person to die, major uh, died for the Revolutionary War. He got shot. I believe he might have been in Boston or New York. What was he at? Boston. Against the, the British. Yeah. Uh, Boston. Tax and uh, the colonies. Come okay, on. Uh, Okay, he, he, he was a citizen of the city, and uh, he was upset with the unfair tax and of the uh, colonies when it came to tea and other products, yet they wasn't represented in England in the parliament. So it's just like we have protesters here. You know, he was out protesting, and um, and so the... Who was he the, protesting he, with? He was protesting with the other people who lived in, in the colony within the city. Black folks and white folks? Yeah, yes. yeah white folks, it <laughs> was. Well, you know, yeah, black people living. Okay, I'm just trying to be clear, too. man. I'm I'm a common sense radio. Okay. Yes, yeah. Everybody yeah. don't know this, all right? Okay. To show you how relevant, you can hang up on that, on Brother Me. And I show you how relevant we are, uh, and not right. knowing what Brother Demetrius is gonna call and say. I'm gonna show you how we are so ahead of the curve. We just talked about. Uh, we just talked about the speed light cameras, how we took 60 million away from the city. Oh yes. man, they still mad with us about that. But the people are happy. Listen, on Saturday, July the 19th, 2014, mm. 2014, here's, here's what, here's what we did. I think Ted was there. I'm not sure, but I think he was there. We went on the pier, on the, on the Lake Erie Pier. Uh, and we asked people to join us on the pier as we rally against the red light cameras, speed light cameras, mobile speed trap cameras. And guess what it said at the bottom? Taxation without representation. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Uh, uh, you'd have been there, you'd have saw. What we did, we took, we didn't throw tea off the pier, the Ninth Street Pier. Guess what we threw? Speed light camera tickets off the pier. And you know what? This was in 2014. They thought we was a joke. But yeah, guess what? Mm -hmm. Brother, brother, we are always ahead the curve. Yeah. Well, the, the stuff we do, uh, we're like the army. The stuff we do before 6 o'clock, uh, the rest of the people take all day to do. So the 2014, we started this campaign, brother. And it's it's interesting because Christmas Addicts, uh, historians disagree on whether Crispus Attucks was a free man or an escaped slave, but they agree that he was of Wampanoag and African descent. As a matter of fact, he was the first death of the Boston Massacre in Boston, Massachusetts on March 5th. Well, he actually lived from 1723 to uh, March 5th, 1770. And he was the first death of the Boston Massacre in Boston, Massachusetts. And he definitely was considered the first American casualty in the American Revolutionary War, and definitely was of mixed descent, Native American and African. So there you go. Boy, you 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 coming you coming heavy here because uh, 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 I rally on the Ninth Street Pier when when we first started our, uh, our campaign to get rid of those speed light cameras. It happened July the 19th, 2014, and 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 we were uh, being a replica of the Boston Harbor, uh, yes. uh, uh, which happened in December the 16th, 1773. Yes. So, brother, y'all are y'all y'all on point today. This is why. <laughs> listen, sometimes when you listen to the Art McCoy University Radio Show, the University of Common, Common Sense, Sense, you gotta have your pencil and pad because this is a class. Yes. Now,